Okay, here we go again. Another test drive from Maple Motors. This was a 1970 model Oldsmobile Cutlass with a 350 under the hood. It's also got, uh, what, power brakes over there with a booster. It's got power steering, hiding off in there. AC compressor's there. It's not hooked up, so it's not working. Aftermarket set of American Race of Wheels drum brakes all the way around. Well, they're power drum brakes, so that's good. Paint job looks pretty. They painted the bumpers black to match the top. Well, just the rear bumper. It looks like all the trim and everything around here is still chrome. Another good thing, we have 100 detailed pictures. We also have financing and shipping available on all of our cars. And throughout this video, I'll be picking out the flaws. Where's the chips? Where's the scratches? How does it run? How does it drive? About to find out by the time. Let's go for a ride. Checking the interior out before we leave. Man, it's nice in here. Does need some new carpet. You can see the carpet's a little faded. Console's in great shape. Seat looks pretty good. Door panel, it's just the carpet that's faded. Everything else looks decent. Uh, on your dash there, missing a little trim piece. It goes around the top. But if you put that back in, you got this little spot here in the dash. A little faded, can be cleaned up. The ashtray's there. Glove box. Okay, let's turn it on. Showing 31,000 miles right there. Hard to stand behind that in a 70 model. See, I got in it this morning, did that exact same thing. It was right over there on the front row. Wipers, woo! Washers, there's no fluid. Radio, turn it all the way up. Blower motor. Nick, stop being so hard on the controls. They don't work. <laughs> Neither does radio. Place your bets. Does the horn work? Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Ah. Just making sure it's getting connection. Bolt could be out. Interior. Got a bag full of goodies there. I want you to look in the description and see what I'm carrying. It's like they got spacers in the back seat. Man, a cardboard or something. A little wrinkly on the package tray headliner. Looking good today. Even the cat's still there. Oh, yeah. Look at yourself through that mirror. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to hit the horn. We're going to hit the road. What do you think? Did you place your bets? Nothing I can do to make that home. Let's hit the road. Hey, you want to go for a ride? Yep. Let's roll. Typically, I see y'all on the passenger window over there, but today you're riding on my window, and uh, that's so my boy can have a little wind. It's hot. It's it's hot. It's 85, and it's humid because we're in Tennessee, and that's how Tennessee is. It's just humid all summer long. So, a little sweat. It doesn't hurt though. It doesn't hurt to sweat. It's good for you. Sort. Just drink water. We're gonna take off. Anything I see, I'll let you know. I'll try not to miss anything. We're gonna go. Uh, let's see. We don't need gas. We got half a tank. We're good there. So we're gonna go up here to the parking lot. Get some undercarriage shots. Let's see what else we can find. What happened over here? Something spilled all over the road. See all that? Must have happened last night. Here we go. Good shift there. Speedometer is working on the dash. You got some slack in your steering. It's turning there and it's turning there. There, there. In the brakes, left pull. You feel it? Mm -hmm. Gave a little whoosh there. Whoosh. Let's try it again. See that? Left pull. Nobody's behind us, guys. Left pull. So the brakes are grabbing. What happens when I floor it? That's what happens when I floor it. It's not kicking down. Passing gear's not hooked up. If I shift down.
decent amount of power. I think the main thing is these drum brakes are grabbing up here. A lot of times you can hold the brake, hold the gas, kind of knock the dust off of them and it'll help them. In this case, we're about to find out and see if that works. Nope, still pulling to the left. So, we do know we need brake work. Just minor brake work there. The throttle feels good. This big old heavy car feels like a boat. Nice and smooth going through all the bumps in the parking lot. I just like they're not even there. All right, now I'm gonna roll down my window and get a little breeze coming through here. It's a little bit better. And we're also gonna get some outside shots, some undercarriage shots. Continue this video. That's crazy. <laughs> What's he doing? I told you that guy's crazy. <laughs> So, my seatbelt's fried. Liam still got his and it's working, but this one, this one's done for, man. It don't even go in there. And once I get it in there, I'm probably gonna have to cut it off of myself. So, I'm not putting that on. I got my hand kind of dirty. The seatbelts need to be renewed. Uh, if you turn the wheel all the way one way, I don't know which way it was. Nope, not that way. Go the other way. Nobody's behind us. That tire rubs. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Not that, that way did too, all the way. So that way. Okay. So oversized tires, aftermarket rims. You know what that causes? A lot of times you're gonna get a rub in your fender from them. in the brakes still pulling to the left there here's some gas here feels pretty good all the way up to the speed limit there
that bunny rabbit. Hopefully he don't run out in the road. Look, he's getting close. Did we scare him off? Yep. Cool. He turned around. This road here's got a decent little speed bump in it. You probably won't notice it. This thing's got awesome suspension. Coming up on it. Nice and smooth. Still, when I'm hitting the brakes, it turns left. So, we're right around from the car a lot. Me and Liam here go get some popsicles. Mm -hmm. You excited about that? Yep. I don't know why you'd be so excited about popsicles. <laughs> And picking out the flaws is coming up next, so hit subscribe, share this video. Thanks for watching. Ready? Yep. I'm here to pick out the flaws. I'm gonna walk around this ride, look for anything I can find. That way you know exactly what you get before you get here. There is detailed pictures at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping. Ain't that right? Every time I have to say that, I feel like I'm on repeat for like five years. But hey, it's important information. Maplemotors.com is not Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok. It's not all that. It's, it's an actual website that has more information than any of those websites combined. Other than here on YouTube where you can get these uh, flaws. Coming around the front end. You know, a little bit of age there, but it still looks good. You got a little water in that headlight. I'm about to find out if that worked or not, too. Because when I put this video together, y'all probably already seen it. A little spot there in the paint. Coming down this side of the car, you got a little spot here behind the bumper. Tires are in great shape, up and over the fender. Little bubbles at the bottom of the door. <clears throat> Look at all these chips. Little bubbles here in the corner. Nope. Chip there. Down the lower portion. Uh, there's a tar or something. Chip here on the back bumper that's been painted. Back your midsection. Door looks good, but you got some pitting on your door handle. <clears throat> Inner jam up here in the front looks alright. Little scratches there. Looking over the top of the fender. More pitting in your chrome. Pillar's got a little bubble in there. trim looks good it tried to rain on us you got some scratches on the windshield here from the uh, older windshield wipers I assume the seal is still working but man it's got some brittle look to it don't it scratches here on the back window in your jams got some wax in there A little ding there in the roof over the top of that Should look pretty good spot here in the corner back window looks good trim looks good oh never mind back windows got scratches here in the corner why is it always the same little scribble scratches it's like they use still wool it's on the outside too like what what are y'all using Back bumper on this one, it, yes, yes, yes. It has been painted, I know, in the comments. I think it looks all right. 
It's not bad. I had a Chevelle with painted bumpers and I liked it, but it was all blacked out. Spot there. The seal here being glued in the middle. Looks like bubble gum. You want some bubble gum? I'm kidding. <laughs> There's some little rust spots popping up. It might be bubble gum, you never know. It's definitely not silicone because it's not drying right. I don't know why they did it like that. Whoever did it. I just feel like ripping it off. Yep. A little rust here. We're still looking at the jams. In the trunk, somebody spattered it. Probably us. Looks pretty good. You've got a little bit of rust that was there. It was cleaned up. A little bit of, hopefully not that, no, that's actually patched in. I was going to say, hopefully not that bubble gum. <laughs> Look it in your package tray, it looks pretty good. Around the trunk lid, always check around the lid. You want to make sure it's not all rusty crusty. It looks pretty good. The lid itself? That's nice. Trunk overall, decent condition, especially for the year. Coming down with the trunk lid. Good spring in there. Just zooming in on some of this stuff. Down this side, lower portion. It looks like some dirt from the road. Tires are in good shape up and over the fender. You got some bubbles in the paint down here at the bottom. A little chip there. Up and over. Back that mid section. Door handle on this one, a little bit of pit. Spot there. A little crack here. Back window. Clean trim. Dings. See a lot of little dings in it. People. Hey, Get a little frustrated putting that stuff on, start smacking it, and that's what happens. Trim could have been brand new put on and then all dinged up. Seen it happen. A lot. A crack there. Pitting. That's dirt. Dirt there too. Let's look at the roof. Or the front window. That could be polished up, cleaned front window on this side looks good up your pillar ding here another example looking over the front okay dings made it around the outside let's open her up check out the interior Right there by the lock is a little messed up on the panel. Up here in the front corner. Carpet at the bottom definitely needs to be re or changed out. Bubbles in the corner of the door hasn't been redone. Little chips down here. Carpet, seen better days. 
it can be changed out easily. I used to put carpet in these cars a long time ago. I haven't done it in years, but it really wasn't that big of a deal pulling seats. Let me put my gear up. Now, I don't know why they put the spacer in there. I guess it's to hold down that pad, that package tray piece of material they put back here. I guess you stretched it out. It probably looked pretty nice. It's there right now. It looks better than nothing. I assume that's what they said when they put it in. Missing a lens over there on that corner light. This light over here is old school. It's got yellow to it. Interior light here looks good. And your headliner is in great shape. Seat, pretty clean. I move my hand for somebody says, what are you hiding below your hand? <laughs> that little trim piece is missing there, the pillar. Oh goodness. Hey guys, I don't hide nothing. I show it all. It feels good in here with the wind's down. <laughs> Looks like a little piece is broken in here. Oh, hey, look, it all just lifts up. Amazing. Let's start it up. Just like it did when I got it in at the lot. Starts right up. <laughs> Is that what you're going to do when you pull up to high school? <laughs> wow. Well, that cable there could be redone. First thing I see. Starting right up pretty good. Probably get a new end when we get back to the lot and I'll let you take care of that. You can do that. Motor on this one sounds pretty good. Yeah, since the AC stuff's all there, I'd have to get it checked out. That might be something that uh, could be easily fixed. But I don't know anything about AC, honestly. I think when it comes to AC, about the only thing that I've done is added free on before. <laughs> A little bit of pitting there on that trim down with this hood it's a pretty stiff hood oh yeah you got to slam this hold on there we go put a pitting on your trim up here spot there All right, guys, we're going to get back to the lot. Go pick out another car. Well, believe it or not, i got to do a Frontier today. But, hey, it has to be done. Maybe we can eat some popsicles. Detail pictures, finance, and shipping. MapleMotors.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe, share, hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. That's exactly how I make money up here. So... Thank you in advance, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Later, guys.